Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. So today we're going to be talking about Tampo and how to deal with Tampo in your relationship. So a few weeks ago you might remember we did a video on Tampo, is it a Filipina cultural behavior? And we addressed the issues around that. But today I'm gonna to give you five tips around what to do when you find Tampo with your Filipina is affecting your relationship. So here we go, go guys, we'll get straight into it today. First up, you need to talk early in the relationship about Tampo. It is, a, it is as we discussed in that last video, it is a cultural learnt behavior by many Filipinas. So the earlier you talk about the, the Tampo issue, the better off you're going to be. You've got to get a clear understanding on what your expectations are and what her expectations are and come together as a couple to work out how you're going to deal with that issue whether it's acceptable to what degree is it acceptable or it's not acceptable at all so the second tip is that be patient with your filipina because it is a learnt behavior that they've learned over many years of living in the philippines and it's a behavior that's quite acceptable in a filipino filipina relationship so you need to give it time to adapt and change. As in any behavior, it doesn't just happen like that. It takes time to actually, for her to learn the new behavior, which is, you know, that it's not acceptable to do that. I need to communicate better with you rather than go quiet and silent and hide away for many hours on end or even days on end. And during that time, she'll come to know that, you know, communication is an important part of a relationship between a Filipina and a Western person or a foreigner. And she, 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 if, if the relationship is valuable to her and she understands your point of view and you understand her point of view as well and you meet somewhere in the middle, then everything will work out fine. The third, you need to look at how bad the tempo is. So what degree of tempo has your girlfriend or wife now exhibiting? Is it that she'll just you know, do the tempo for maybe just a few hours and then come back out and talk to you? Or does this go on for days on end with, with the silent treatment uh, until she gets her way? There's a big variant between types of tempo and how long they last. So if it's only a few hours, no, that's fine. She, it might be just her time to regroup and think about what she wants to do. As long as she comes out later and she actually sits down and talks to you, there's no problem in that. She's just having time out for herself and that, that's perfectly acceptable. But if it's going on for days, you know, or even one day, two days, three days, whatever, then that's not acceptable, it's a bit of a problem. So, so that's when you need to try and connect with her again, communicate to her the reasons why this is not working very well and give her a chance to change her behavior. So tip number four is when she's in that tampo mode, so when she goes into that mode and she puts herself into a room and be quiet and pretty much ignores you, then allow her to have that space. Allow her time to decompress, if you like, and to think about things. Then after she's had, you know, a couple of hours, two, three hours, then you try and communicate with her. So, so you can resolve the issue. She needs to know that resolving the issue now, at the time it happened, is very important, not leaving it for days after when you've really forgotten what the issue might even be. So allow her that time, then try and connect with her to actually get some sort of communication lines open between the two of you. Now my fifth and final tip is that if you've tried all the above, tips one to four, and you've, you've done it several times over or many times over during the course of your relationship, and it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere, and she's being quite stubborn and saying, well, you know, this is how I am, I can't change that, that sort of attitude, then you might need to reconsider whether this relationship is for you or not. And you may need even to talk to her about that, whether the relationship is working for you or not. She would have been told by this point many, many times over how important it is to communicate. Without communication, you can't resolve issues and how you might see that behavior as being childlike or manipulative. So. If she still persists with that behavior and it annoys you to the point where you know it, it's becoming very frustrating and you're resenting her for that then that could be the time to actually discuss finishing the relationship with her as tampo will certainly be a deal breaker in that situation 
So the important tip of all this is, as I always say, is get to know her first. Take your time, get to know your Filipina very, very well. And for the Filipina to get to know the man very well as well. Um, get to know each other and in each other's country, not just in the Philippines, but also bring it to your country. If you're serious about it, bring it to your country so you can see how she interacts in that environment, which is very, very important before you go making any decisions about any engagements and marriage and all that sort of thing. So uh, that's my five best tips on how to manage Tampa. I'd like to hear you guys who have had this experience around Tampa, what you've done in that situation. So if you can put your comments below, that'd be appreciated. Don't forget to share the video around to anyone who may enjoy this video. And of course, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Thanks very much for watching guys. Take care. Bye for now.